really happy to be here. My name is Tal. I represent uh, UX Vision. I'm the CEO of a company, Israeli service provider, uh, dealing with the user experience. Uh, basically, what we do is uh, design user experiences for uh, top uh, leading uh, companies in uh, Israel. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we, I, I am the director of uh, UXV, the Israeli certification of uh, user experience uh, specialists. Uh, recently awarded as one of the top five, uh, uh, the best uh, five, uh, one of the best uh, five training programs in the world for uh, user experience uh, guys. Uh, and actually, I'm here to uh, talk to you about uh, the 100th uh, project uh, which we uh, designed. Uh, around one year ago, uh, and it's the redesign of a website called Maveze. Uh, and basically, in order to tell you a bit what Maveze is, uh, Maveze would uh, mean in Hebrew uh, something like the, the, the most updated word of uh, how to ask uh, what's up. Uh, and Maveze is actually a blog uh, platform created by two entrepreneurs. Uh, which uh, wanted to create a special place and home for the Generation Y people, uh, led by Generation Y, two people from Generation Y. And they actually created a community of around uh, 20, uh, 250 or 300 uh, bloggers writing about their day-to-day, -day, uh, you know, food, culture, uh, fashion, uh, careers, relationships, everything that matters to uh, these guys. Uh, and when we came to the redesign project, uh, we actually started uh, like every other project with a uh, research, but this time it wasn't the standard research we usually do. Uh, we didn't say the office. Uh, it was pretty hard. Uh, they made us go to the best uh, pubs in Israel, uh, visit the best parties, uh, you know, spend time drinking, uh, dancing, having fun, stuff that you don't really do at work. Uh, and all of this was uh, in order to understand what's the story behind uh, Generation Y. And I'd like to tell you a bit uh, what we found out in the, in the way. Uh, so basically, Generation Y are people born around the, 19, uh, the, the, the 80s. Uh, and I, I think if you'll spend time, I, I guess some of you belong to this uh, era, but uh, if you'll spend time with uh, these guys, you'll see that the basic f feeling or, uh, is that nobody really gets us. Uh, we, we, we try to find, find the right way to communicate and it's really, uh, uh, the understanding is that you have to be one uh, to no one. Uh, so when, it, when we tried to take this to the uh, process of redesigning the uh, platform, uh, we've seen that there are many contradictions in this, how these uh, people really uh, behave or act. I, I'll give you a few samples. Uh, in terms of money, uh, you'll see that Generation Y people are actually, uh, they really don't care about money, but on the other end, they want to get rich somehow. Uh, if you look at information, uh, we're in the world of uh, information and Generation Y wants to know everything, uh, but they, do, uh, they don't want to spend energy doing that or actually don't have the patience, the patience to learn. And another thing, you'll see that they're always on the move, but they don't really get anywhere. Uh, I think uh, one, one thing that would be correct to say is that uh, Generation Y people actually want to have fun, uh, to find different ways of getting there. So this was a basic understanding uh, that led us uh, in the process of uh, redesigning. And understanding that uh, led us to five uh, main challenges that I want to tell you about when creating content for these guys. So first of all, we have the problem of uh, dealing with content. Uh, Generation Y people don't have the patience to stay anywhere. Uh, and we try to make uh, a new place where they would like to stay. Uh, and what we did is actually create a, a, a new way of a uh, different anatomy, uh, anatomy of a website. Uh, we designed uh, 16 different uh, types of information or, or content blocks uh, that we actually placed inside the website. Uh, creating uh, different uh, types of uh, content in different visual ways uh, in order for uh, the website to be engaging. Uh, when you go into the website, the first thing you see is a cover telling you uh, that you came to the place where uh, Generation Y people hang out. And you might uh, even understand a bit about them if you'll stay around. Uh, once the cover is up, we actually we placed all of the content. 
uh, horizontally and created a linear uh, navigation uh, model, uh, pretty much the same as you would see in uh, tablets, but this time it's also in, in the website, uh, not, not uh, only in the tablet. Uh, the first dilemma, that, uh, the second dilemma that we have is how to deal with the fact that uh, this uh, type of information might be uh, very visual and very uh, consuming, uh, and we try to find a way to balance on one hand, make it visual appealing, and on the other hand, don't make it uh, too, uh, too complicated for the mind to uh, uh, to recognize, uh, and the solution for this uh, problem was basically to uh, create a very delicate, uh, def delicately defined set of grids uh, where all of the uh, information uh, parts uh, were placed on. Uh, this made the, uh, the flow of the information uh, fly away over the screen without creating a mess in the eyes or without creating too much mess for these uh, guys to, to deal with. A third uh, issue we found out in, in research is that uh, the relationship between uh, bloggers and the readers is interesting. Uh, a lot of uh, talks with bloggers and the readers uh, revealed that uh, from one point of view, uh, readers want to know more about the, their bloggers, uh, the ones that are following. On the other hand, uh, bloggers want to know more and get uh, some of reactions of, of the people who read their uh, information. And we try to uh, look at the uh, communication between the two sides and find uh, new ways uh, to, to do that. Uh, so first of all, one, one thing we came up with uh, is revealing a bit of the behind the scenes where the uh, blogger wrote his information. Uh, we created an area, an infographic area, uh, within each one of the posts, uh, revealing what time it was when the blogger wrote, uh, where it was located, but more emotionally, uh, what was the weather and what was his mood like. Uh, we tried to add uh, and take it to, uh, to the next step and created some uh, unique uh, functionality for the uh, authors uh, to add a soundtrack. Uh, so uh, each time a reader re uh, reads their blog uh, post, uh, they will actually hear what the author wanted them to hear at the same time, creating a unique experience for the reader. Uh, the next step would be to deal with the uh, feedback that get uh, the, that uh, authors get from their readers, uh, and we didn't want to uh, stay with the standard like. Uh, the like button doesn't reveal anything, uh, any emotion from the side of the readers. So we created a new feedback uh, mechanism, allowing the readers to uh, express more about what they felt when they read the post. Uh, so instead of just saying, "Hey, it's nice." Uh, they were able to uh, say more and reveal. Uh, and for th this was a great opportunity for the author to understand what's happening on the, the other side and what affected more. The fourth, uh, fourth uh, issue we had to deal with was the fact that uh, Generation Y guys don't really want to read. Uh, this is a basic issue that we have to understand with people. It, it isn't relevant just for the Generation Y. It's more relevant for all of us. Uh, Cognitive-wise, uh, our uh, mechanism don't really uh, allow uh, reading to be done easily. Uh, uh, Everybody is in an in era of uh, too much information, and basically uh, the difference is that when you talk to Generation Y guys, uh, it would be relevant for them uh, to write you back and say TLDR. It means too long I didn't read. Uh, so. You expect me to read, but you wrote too much, so think uh, again. Uh, so we try to deal with content in a new way, in a, in a new way, uh, the same way we deal with conversion. So we defined the, a funnel of reading uh, and split it into the process, uh, the detailed process of steps uh, involved uh, in reading, from the uh, part of paying attention that there is a path uh, to the deci decision of starting the read. Uh, we took care of what will happen until you uh, finish reading and then uh, gave you the opportunity to give a feedback and finish with moving to the next item instead of uh, losing the uh, reader at that point. Uh, we created some kind of uh, rating uh, measurement allowing uh, readers to define, uh, to know which one of the items they'd like to read. Uh, and dealing with readability, we created a very short uh, width uh, sentences making the text uh, uh, easy to read. 
uh, but it wasn't enough, and then we came out with the idea of uh, actually why do we, we actually need to read. So we added a new uh, button functionality allowing the author to record himself and allow the readers, uh, instead of reading, to hear him. Uh, this created a new intimacy because it, it was the first time that uh, readers were actually able to hear their blogger. Uh, it came out great in the uh, mobile version because it allowed people to enjoy blogs uh, without uh, reading. So you could actually enjoy blogs for the first time while driving. Uh, the, the last uh, area we took uh, into consideration was business. Uh, we took part of the business value where we wanted to create solution for the companies that use this platform in order to uh, advertise and promote their brands uh, and wanted to deal with the banner blindness that we have on standard content websites. Uh, so our solution was to, emb to embed items within the content and you can see that they stand out only when I uh, make them stand out. Uh, results didn't uh, uh, take too much to appear. Uh, we s we've seen uh, jump in all of the relevant uh, measurement. Uh, there was only one measurement we've seen go down, which is the uh, bounce rate, which was showing uh, great results for us. And the best uh, experience with this website uh, was to see uh, that in our uh, launch uh, party, uh, actually uh, w we've seen the website live in one of the biggest uh, Tel Avivian uh, uh, clubs all over the, uh, rolling all over the, the, the walls. Uh, so it was a great experience to, uh, to enjoy. Uh, and actually, this, all of this, uh, for, for us, XQX Vision is, is old news because it is a, a project uh, finished uh, one year ago. And I'd like to take the chance of uh, the one minute I have left to tell you that uh, we don't really stay and uh, uh, stop at one project. So I'd like to, uh, to uh, take advantage of this uh, uh, opportunity and tell you about uh, another project we've been working on. Uh, and tell you that there's a new, uh, a new superhero in town, uh, the first superhero hero that does user experience. And invite you all to go to UX Hero and learn more uh, and be the first one to know what's going, on, uh, what's going to happen on November. Uh, and that's it, thank you.